Good afternoon, everyone. You are tuning in live from the D1 Men's Championship of the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional. We have Old Blue from New York City facing Rocky Gorge Rugby Club of Laurel, Maryland. Set to kick off at 4 p.m. It's bound to be a thriller. Tell your friends, tell everyone, share them the link, because it's about to go down. Yes, indeed. The Rocky Gorge Rugby Club, they won the Atlantic Conference. Astoundingly, they went undefeated. Old Blue, they've competed at the highest level for the last 10 or 20 years. Great athletes on both sides, great rugby IQs, playmakers, hard runners, solid forwards. The game's gonna be awesome. If you're not paying attention, then you're paying with your loss. As I mentioned, kickoff will be at 4 p.m. So we got a few minutes. Both teams huddled up. That's old blue in the black. Rocky Gorge in the white. It's a warm day here in Richmond, Virginia. Cloudy, overcast. The turf certainly doesn't help, but it's gonna be a great day for some rugby. Did I mention Division I Men's Rugby Club? This is the championship of the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional. As you see, Old Blue, they have the name tatted right on their behinds. They wear that name proudly. They've been some of the most formidable competitors in the men's seven cir circuit. Both of these squads played earlier this spring. Rocky Gorge from Laurel, Maryland came on top. But this is the one that matters. Rocky Gorge going through their pregame ritual chant. Old Blue, calm and composed as they break the huddle. Okay, and Old Blue is set to kick off the match. We will be playing the lines in orange, not to be confused with the white. Old Blue looks to be kicking to the left. And it looks like it's going 10, a high sky and kick. Received off the bounce by Gorge. Gorge spinning it wide, finding space early. Hooker takes it in, tips pass, finds some space with the offload. He's gonna give it to the wing with some space to burn. And they're gonna cut it inside. Gorge off to a phenomenal start with the ball in hand. And they're gonna call an offsides penalty on Old Blue. What's the decision gonna be from the Rocky Gorge side?
they're going to go to touch. 15 from Rocky Gorge is going to find space. Gorge with the line out on the old blue 10. Gorge executing their game plan on all cylinders. It looks like they'll have a seven man line out. Ball is going to find the ground. And they're going to go weak side. And another penalty on the old blue defense. Rocky Gorge, a little bit centered. Bigger decision than they had prior. And it sounds like they're gonna go for points. Fifteen is going to look to strike it. And it goes just left of the post. That'll be an old blue 22 meter drop. Just an unfortunate. Gorge was knocking at that door. Unable to convert the kick. And a booming drop kick from old blue. That looks like it might go out of the back of the try zone. And that's going to be a Rocky Gorge scrum at the 22. What appeared to be a phenomenal exit by the old blue side appears to bite them in the rear end. Rocky Gorge from right outside their 22. Eight man take, passes nine, pulls it out the back to 10. Oh, and the wingers unable to collect the ball. That'll be an old blue line out. Just outside their 22. can be a tricky situation if you're old blue. You can't go directly into touch. So you have to attack to some capacity. And the Gorge defense stonewalls them. And they're looking to exit. A phenomenal boot into the corner with a good bounce. And that's going to be Rocky Gorge's line out. Phenomenal kick by the old blue fly half. Gorge will have the ball on their own 22. And it appears the throw did not go straight. 
Old Blue will get the ball back. Blue scrum on the 22. Nine's under pressure. And they're going to go weak side. Gorge defense stops them in their tracks. Oh, and this sir is going to call the offsides penalty on Rocky Gorge. Ten's going to look for touch. As you can see on the sideline, the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional is taking place all day. All of the teams that have played previously are surrounding the field, watching some of the best competition take place on the East Coast. And Old Blue's gonna go weak. Big tackle by number three in white. And the ball appears to go off the hands, but backwards, Old Blue. Gorge having a disruptive defensive stand. And they're gonna call the knock on. The Rocky Gorge defense is too much. And they're going to stand up, Old Blue, and get a scrum down from their five meter line. Far side wing from Old Blue is up in the line. Ball slips out of the scrum. Can Gorge retain it? Yes, they can. They're gonna look to resettle here and give their fly half in position. Get out of trouble. And a quick release from number 15. And it looks like he catches it out of bounds and goes quick. But the chase from Rocky Gorge what an effort from number 14. Old Blue. The Gorge line looks in disarray. Are they able to reconnect? Old Blue looking to attack and it looks like they found some space on the right side. Gorge defense has their backs turned out wide. And that one, chip over the top. Looks to go through, but they were playing the advantage. Old Blue has a penalty. Old Blue retaining possession within the Rocky Gorge half for the last five minutes. We're 10 minutes into the game. Rocky Gorge had a strong start, but they've been unable to maintain the ball and they've been on the defensive. Can they hold Old Blue one more time? As Old Blue goes to the mall. Gorge with a quick blitzing defense. Old Blue with some strong support. 
pushing their men forward. A dominant tackle from the Rocky Gorge players. Old Blue looking to slow things down and recollect. They're tackling him on top. Oh, and the ball slips out, but it appears they blew the advantage. Oh, unfortunate break for Rocky Gorge as number one, although he is a prop. He is not a slow one. He could have gone the distance. And they're gonna stop play. And the ref's gonna have a conversation with the hooker. Appears to just be a blood. And he's taped up, scrum capped on. And they're gonna resume. We are 12 minutes into the first half. The score remains 0-0. Zero, zero. They're going to reset this scrum. <laughs> Rocky Gorge, they have four to the left, two to the right. Old Blue Scrum seems to be pushing them back will they be able to retain the ball and the old blue gets the penalty unfortunate break for gorge and we have been playing in rocky gorge territory for the last almost 10 minutes and old blue is going to go for points set to kick and it goes through the uprights old blue takes a lead 3-0 over rocky gorge we are 15 minutes into the game Off to the left. Old Blue's gonna put this one into touch. Was he behind the 22 is the question. It appears he was. So it'll be a Rocky Gorge line out at the 45. up back pod they're gonna pull it out to the back 15 Rocky Gorge gonna remain that same for 
13. He's shifty. They're going to take the ball. Out. And Old Blue stopping them. Five meters behind the line. It's always a bad disruption for the offense. Can they find space here? Another loss of about five meters for Gorge. But penalty to Rocky Gorge. And they're gonna find touch. Oh, and the ball's gonna bounce. Will it find touch? Yes, it does. Thank you. A fortunate bounce for the Rocky Gorge side as the ball dribbles out of bounds. They're gonna have a line out just outside of the 22 of Old Blue. Line out to Rocky Gorge. It appears they're gonna put five in. Go front pod. In the switch play. Rocky Gorge looking to put a kick through to the wing. What will the bounce? And Old Blue is taken out in their own two. That'll be a line out to Rocky Gorge in the five. Great awareness by the 10. Found some space. Put a drop and kick there, and Old Blue had no other option but to take it out. Now this is an opportunity for Rocky Gorge to use one of their strike plays. Put the ball in the end zone. It looked like they have a seven man line out. Excuse me. And ball's out. And they're gonna pound their fly half who gets airborne. And Rocky Gorge losing a few meters off the set piece. Old Blue defense holding strong and identifying where these runners will be, making two-man tackles. Rocky Gorge trying to hit the pop inside. And they knock the ball on. It's going to be an Old Blue scrum. The Old Blue defense seems they, they know where the ball is going to go. They get two men on them. And they're making tackles behind the line. Just great awareness, great heads up on the defense. Rocky Gorge has to just try to be a little bit less predictable with the offense. Old Blue's gonna find the foot. And it looks like it bounced out of bounds. Or found touch from this angle. I couldn't tell if they were behind the 22, but it'll be a Rocky Gorge line out just inside their 50 meter line. Rocky Gorge mishandles the line out. The nine's able to tap it back, but are they able to recollect it? And 
Referee blows it up. It looks like the line out was not straight. They're gonna stop time and talk through. So reminder, we are 21 minutes into the game. Old Blue is up three to zero. Both teams have had possession deep in the other's half. None have been able to convert tries. Two strong defensive efforts. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. We have an Old Blue scrum inside the Rocky Gorge 50 meter. And they're going to go directly to 12. Tip pass to 13. Three men on the defensive tackle. Gorge not contesting that ruck. Fanning out. Old Blue going to keep continuing to attack that side. And now they're coming back. Oh, and it looks like Old Blue found some space. Number six has it with the pace, and he's going to find the try line. Old Blue for the try as they go up 8-0. to zero. 22 minutes in the first half. The boys in black found pay dirt. Can they convert? And from an intact standpoint, Old Blue, you saw how they kept attacking towards the Rocky Gorge sideline. Their men off the line out. They hung on that far sideline and they must have identified that Rocky Gorge was not respecting that wide ball or they would attack that wide channel. and the old blue conversion is no good. Score remains eight to zero. We are just over 24 minutes in to the first half. This is the D1 men's final. Oh, and the number 15 is gonna try to rubber the ball off the kickoff and it just does not dribble 10 meters. Old Blue is going to be set for a center scrum at the 50 meter line. Rocky Gorge identified just a small gap and did not execute as planned. Tough loss. Old Blue in good position to attack. It looks like Rocky Gorge is playing with both wings up. There's some space in either corner. It'll be interesting to see how they plan to attack. Old blue fly half has shown his kicking ability earlier. 
would not be surprised if they try to use it again. And they're going to go to the strong side. And a mishandling error from the old blue 15. It'll be a Rocky Gorge scrum just inside the 50 meter line. Last scrum, Old Blue. Gave it a pretty good push. Rocky Gorge able to stabilize it. They're gonna pass to their inside center. Who's gonna dummy and gonna split up the middle. He's a shifty fellow. And they're gonna call a penalty on Old Blue. Rocky Gorge is gonna go quick. They see space out left. And the winger's gonna dot it down on the sideline. Five points. Rocky Gorge, number 12 with a shimmy. He's gonna put the dummy, go right at the middle, draw the penalty, and Gorge was keen to go quick and find the space on the left-hand side. Score is 8-5, Old Blue leads before this conversion attempt from the sideline. Fifteen. Set to kick conversion from the sideline. And he drills it. It's well struck. And it's wide left. Score remains 8-5. Old blue. We're 27 minutes into the first half. Just a very back and forth game. Old Blue seemed to have momentum, but Rocky Gorge just showing a little bit of electricity off that set piece. And the ball's high, goes 10. Great take by the number six of Rocky Gorge. And Rocky Gorge is attacking the weak sideline. Now they're attacking the strong side. Number one takes three men in. He's a hoss. And they're going to continue to play with the ball in hand. And they think they've identified some space. And the ball slips out to Old Blue, turnover. And they're gonna spin it wide. Good pressure from the Rocky Gorge defense. Yes. And Rocky Gorge slowed the ball down just enough. And it looks like it was ripped out. Oh, but that'll be a penalty for not releasing the tackle. Old Blue, what will they elect to do? They look like they're going to go for touch. Yeah! And the ball looked to go out past the goal line. If that is the case, that'll be a scrum down to Rocky Gorge at the side of the kick. What a break for Rocky Gorge. Ten minutes left in the first half. Old Blue leads eight to five.
Rocky Gorge. They have their back set left. Old Blue with both wingers up. They run a fake switch. They get it just back to the gain line. And a contest from the Old Blue side. And Rocky Gorge attacking weak, finding a little bit of real estate. Old Blue. Strong in defense. And that becomes an Old Blue penalty. Old Blue has a line out just inside there, the Rocky Gorge 22 meter line. Rocky Gorge playing a lot of defense lately. They haven't been able to escape their own half. Old, Go Old Blue winning the territory battle. Line out goes over the head, but it's not straight. It's gonna be awarded to scrum to Rocky Gorge. We got about seven minutes remaining left in the first half. And fly half's gonna find some ground. Is it gonna hit? Oh. That's always a win, and the chase is there. Can they catch it off the? And the fullback trying to buy some time for his support to come, as they do. Great exit by Rocky Gorge. Oh, and the skip pass is intercepted by Old Blue. Offload. He rolls out of the tackle. They pick and go. They're trying to move the ball fast. They're going up the nine channel. Almost wrapped up. And it looks like Old Blue is in for the try to take the lead 13 to five. Rocky Gorge had thought they identified an overlap. The pass was just a little bit too low. Was intercepted by the Old Blue defense. Old Blue takes the lead 13 to five. We've got five minutes remaining in the second half. And they have a conversion kick centered on the field. And the conversion is good. Old Blue goes up 15 to five. Oh 
Rocky Gorge, kicking off to Old Blue. Good run. Old Blue's calling for the ball out wide. They see some space. It appears the number nine tripped over one of the players in the tackle, and they'll get the penalty for that. And a great kick from the old blue 10. To put them in tacking position just outside of the Rocky Gorge 22. About four minutes remaining in the half. Old blue leads 15 to five. Finding some space in the offload inside. Looking to go quick with the ball. Knock on. The Rocky Gorge defense blitzes up and puts him under pressure. And the dummy switch straight to the wing. He's got some space and he's got some pace. Oh, and it looks like, oh no. He loses the ball forward, but it appears he injured himself on the play. Oh, that's unfortunate to see. Number 11, after gaining about 55 meters on the ground, unfortunately knocks it on. Will he remain in the game? It's obviously one of their playmakers. About two minutes remaining in the first half. Old Blue has a scrum inside their 50 meter line. Old Blue with their back split to each side. Rocky Gorge having both wingers playing in the line. Old Blue's gonna kick for space. And it appears they're gonna find ground, but it looks like it's gonna go out of the back and Rocky Gorge is gonna get a scrum at the mark of the kick. 
a big break for Rocky Gorge. There's only limited time remaining in the first half. Scores 15-10, Old Blue. Rocky Gorge might get one last chance to attack and put some points on the board before the half. Rocky Gorge with their backs to the right side. They're gonna eight man take with their gargantuan number eight. Fly half's gonna step inside, offload to the second row. Rocky Gorge is comfortable attacking that weak side. And it looks to be a penalty for Old Blue. And that will be the halftime. Score 15-5. Old Blue leading Rocky Gorge in the Division I men's Mid-Atlantic Super Regional Final. Winner advances to St. Louis, Missouri for the USA Rugby Division I Men's Championship. And we'll be back after shortly.
the second half. Old Blue leads 15-5 in the Division I Men's Championship of the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional. Big stakes for this game. The winner advances to St. Louis, Missouri for the USA Rugby Men's Division I National Championship. We're going to continue shortly as the ref blows the whistle for the second half. takes the kickoff and Rocky Gorge quick opposition in the ruck and they're going to give a penalty to Old Blue off the first phase not the start you wanted if you were Rocky Gorge and a booming kick Old Blue attacking inside Rocky Gorge's 50 meter to start the second half. Old Blue faking one, faking three. And able to get a little bit of go forward on that first phase. And the defense comes hammering up from Rocky Gorge. Able to stop him in their tracks. Rocky Gorge playing some good defense to start out this second half. But did we speak too soon as Old Blue finds a little bit of layway. Oh, and he's able to gather the ball. Dominant tackle from old Rocky Gorge. But some hard running in response from Old Blue. And Old Blue finds some space on the edge that they're going to seek. Old Blue with a man down at the 50. They're playing with 14. And it looks like it was a forward pass. That'll be a scrum awarded to Rocky Gorge. The sideline is certainly stoked about that. And Rocky Gorge has a scrum just outside of their 22 meter. When they have exited in the past, it has worked. And the Rocky Gorge offense looking for some space. Joining us on the broadcast is Joe Reavy accomplished rugby player from the Richmond area. Joe, what's your analysis from the first half? Indeed. I mean, what you highlighted is the Division I men's championship. Both teams. Oh. Tough break for Rocky Gorge. They thought they would go quick, but the Sir pulls it back. Says, you have to tap it here. Um, Paul Blue kicks it back. We're about right where we started. Come on, let's go! Another kick. 
And that will find touch for not old blue. Indeed, that'll be a, looks like an old blue line out just at their 40 meter mark. Joe, when you're in this territory, what would you do? You know, it's a good question, Pat. Um, always think about kicking, you know, you're uh, in your own territory, but at the same time, it's hard to, hard to pass up the opportunity to have a nice little run, so. See what direction they take it. Indeed, and Old Blue has been putting them under a lot of pressure with the kick. The fly half has been phenomenal where he's placed the ball. Rocky Gorge seems to have respected that. They have dropped two of their back three members to receive the kick. There appears to be some space in the middle. And from this angle, it looks like they have a six man line out. So they have two of their forwards off this attacking set. And the referee is going to call it not straight. Tough break for Old Blue. We're about five minutes into the second half. Scores 15 to five. Old Blue is leading the match. Old Blue, the wide side of the field, the wing is up. Will Old, Will Rocky Gorge try to put one behind him? The fly half will spin it out. Come on, Nick! And they'll find the 15, but Old Blue looks to hold him up. Number 11, he's electric. He's looking to make another run. Rocky Gorge. Able to make a little bit of ground. Number one, he's a powerful. And he breaks low. Rocky Gorge appears with an overlap on the left side. They vouch to take it right. Oh, and they knock the ball on. Devastating. Very devastating indeed. I mean, they string a couple phases together. In the first half, they had that try. It looked like a ball of three phases off the set piece. It looked like something was stringing together, but just a mishandling error. I know they want that one back. You know, there's a lot of time left, Pat. A lot of time left. That is true, and it is only a two possession match. Just down 10. Old Blue electing to go for points in the first half. Shown to be a good decision given this defensive battle. And Rocky Gorge putting him under pressure off the scrum. A lot of pressure off the counter ruck. It looks like Rocky Gorge may have retained the ball. No, Old Blue has it. And they are trying to attack out of their end. They're playing in the danger zone. And there's about three Gorge defenders, but can he roll away? They're going to call a knock on. That's going to be a Rocky Gorge scrum at the five meter mark. Joe, I know you've played a couple of different positions inside the scrum. Oh, yeah. What do you do here? As a, as a um, member of the pack. You know, right here, eight-man pick all day. I get the ball right to the eight-man. 
Go strong side. Overpower the flanker. Bada bing, bada boom. That's my honest analysis. That's a fair call. Rocky Gorge does have former Old Glory DC eight man Josh Brown. Do they? Oh he was a goodness. standout. And uh, yeah, you got to think they, they're thinking the same thing as you. I would gamble but. that he will get the ball. However, could be too predictable. You never know. I try to switch it up on him. It appears as if the weak side wing, oh, he's just finishing tying his shoe. But they're going to go weak side. Yes. No eight. Yes. Oh, and Nick Cool is in for the try, number 15. What a dummy from the 15. Yes. Bum, bum, be dumb. That was an impressive dummy, Pat. There you go, Cool. Way to go. They're going to kick this conversion just inside the five meter channel. Should they convert, they will only be down three. Scores 15-10. We're 10 minutes into the second half. It's going to be a tough kick. It's a nail biter. Now, the Rocky Gorge 15, he missed the points earlier. Uh -huh. Can he make up for that missed kick? They obviously have the confidence in him. He has the, the foot strength. This Rocky Gorge team, they look like they have a little bit of momentum. They came out of the second half with the gas on the pedal. Can they put one through the uprights? Well struck. That good. That's good. It's good. That's a beautiful kick. That's and Rocky Gorge kick. brings it within three points. Old Blue leads 15 to 12. Good kick, 15. We are 10 minutes into the second half. Beautiful kick. Old Blue is set to kick off. And it appears they're kicking off from in, no. Oh. And the ref corrected him. We are using the orange lines, all the viewers. And, oh, it looks like the Rocky Gorge player was hit in the air, but they're not wasting any time. Oh, and a mishandling error. What are you looking at? A mishandling error from the Rocky Gorge. They had a line break. That looked backward to me, Pat. Well, it doesn't matter what it looks like to any of us except the men in pink, the men and women in pink. And uh, they'll have to play on. Rocky Gorge continuing the momentum, finding the gap, just unable to handle the ball. Old Blue's going to have a scrum just inside the 50-meter line. And the old blue scrum overpower in Rocky Gorge. Old blue gains some meters. Oh, and the winger has a break. And they dot it down for the try. Old blue off the set piece. Just what they had drawn up. That's got to be heartbreaking for Rocky Gorge after scoring, making the break in and, and letting one up. Old Blue goes up 20 to 12 with a phenomenal set piece. Getting it out to the wing and putting down the try. They go for the conversion. And the ball is struck, and it is good. Old Blue goes up 22 to 12. We are 13 minutes into the second half. Old Blue in lead. Let's go, let's go! 
And the old blue team is fired up after that score. They really needed that to revive their offense and their attack. It looks like Rocky Gorge is making a substitution. Let's go get it! And the clock resumes. Thank you. And Old Blue is going to kick for touch. Family, so I sincerely apologize. <laughs> and it appeared the Rocky Gorge winger had caught the ball out of bounds. So it will be a Rocky Gorge line out. Rocky Gorge able to retain the kickoff. Looked to be a late hit. And the 15 breaks through. And he's able to pass to the 12, on to the 13. Rocky Gorge electric, and they find a response to the old blue try with a try of their own. Off the set piece, 60 meters from the line out. Oh, and it appears a Rocky Gorge player is down. That looks to be Nick Cool. The fullback and a sister of the try. The score is back at 22 to 17. Old Blue leads by five before this conversion kick. Score is 22 to 17. We're 16 minutes and Rocky Gorge converts the extra points. Score is 22 to 19. set to kick off. And high ball, looks like it's going 10 meters. Oh! And that looked like a dangerous play. The ref has his arm up. Everyone's awaiting what the call is gonna be. It looks like the ref has stopped time. If you're all blue, If you're old blue, you're shivering from this one. It didn't look intentional, but he had round into him to a man in the air. That's a dangerous play. It'll be interesting to see. 
how the men and ladies in green decide this one. And the yellow card has been awarded to the second row of Old Blue. Number five will be in the sin bin for the next 10 minutes. We are almost 20 minutes into the second half, about 20 minutes remaining for half of that time. Rocky Gorge will have a single man advantage. Rocky Gorge line out just inside the old blue 40 meter line. Oh, and a, the throw looks like it was a little bit off center towards the white side. It's going to be a scrum to Old Blue. And the referee is going to have a chat with the number two of Rocky Gorge. And they're going to get a 10 meter penalty. Perhaps it was for some extra language spared towards the ref. They're going to want that one back. Old blue line out at the 50 meter line. They're missing a second row. That could be a big disruption towards their set piece. S second rows. They can be utilized as the jumpers in the line out. How will old blue respond down one of their players? And old blue with a pouncing run. And the ball was taken out. It'll be a Rocky Gorge line out just inside their 40 meter mark. This is about the same place that they scored from moments ago. Rocky Gorge is down three points, down 22 to 19. This is the championship of the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional Winner moves on to St. Louis, the USA Rugby D Division I Men's Championship. And the line out appears to bounce off the old blue team. Rocky Gorge continue to move forward. And it looks like the referees raised their flag. Looked like some of the members were playing with the white lines, although we are playing orange today. And the sun is coming out. It is hot out here, Pat. And I'm sure these boys are feeling it. Yep, 60 minutes in the match, 20 remaining. Old Blue down a man. And they're gonna call that one straight. Old Blue attacking that same side. Old Blue strong off the set piece this afternoon. And they find a gap. Able to get quick ball. Exactly. And Fly Half's gonna look for space. 15's under it. And he sees some more space. And Old Blue steps out. Just inside the Rocky Gorge 50 meter. Rocky Gorge wants a penalty for the infraction on the kicker. Way to go, Todd! 
Old Blue looking like they're bringing a few of the subs in. It looks like both of their starting props will be subbing out for reserves. And a great execution off the line out. That's a big boy to be lifting. Go, go, go! Rocky Gorge just trying to force the offload and knocking it on. That'll be an old blue scrum. Let's go, Gorge! Fresh leg! That was second phase. Perhaps did not need to, to try to find the gap that early. They probably could have played a few more phases. Let's go! Old Blue leads 22 to 19. We have about 17 minutes left in the match. Old Blue's backs to the right side. They have four right, two left. Rocky Gorge five in the defensive line. Which way will they attack? They'll run the switch inside to 13. Good defense from Gorge. Ball slips out. And Gorge making contact behind the line, but they can't get him down. Old Blue with some go forward. Just inside the 40 meter for Rocky. And a big daunting tackle from Gorge. The sideline likes that. Come on. And Old Blue's gonna attack weak and get taken out of bounds. Gorge is hungry. Gorge is hungry. Yeah, I mean, not backing away. Old Blue they had a lot of momentum the first half, played a lot in their own territory. But Rocky Gorge this second half has really Challenged them in defense. They've made some breaks on offense. They should look to capitalize while they have this man advantage. They've missed a few set pieces. Haven't had straight throws off the line out. And they get the ball to the wing with some space. Oh! And that looked like a... a lot going on in there, Pat. A little, a little friendly contact. And Gorge gonna go quick, keep the pressure on him. Number one. Orange line. And a penalty. Old Blue is not back 10. That's a good kick. Things almost got a little out of hand there, Pat. It'll be a Rocky Gorge line out. Just outside the 22. They still show to be up a man advantage. And they're gonna attack with a five man line out. Gorge trying to hammer away. They've had some, some success with going weak side previously. Nice 
Not rolling away from the defense. That's going to be a Rocky Gorge penalty. They're going to quick tap. And it looks like they're going to get another penalty for not rolling away. And it looks like the Sir is reaching into his pocket for a yellow card on the number nine. That is a big deal. That is one of the key players in their offense, in their set pieces. A huge loss for Old Blue this late in the game. We're at the 68th minute. Old Blue, I'm not sure if they subbed in the first yellow card, but this one's going to last just until the last few minutes. A big loss on Old Blue, unfortunate for them as they lead by three points with Rocky Gorge knocking at the door. Rocky Gorge, tough decision. You have an easy chance for points, but you're just in front of the try line. You really want to get a try to get some momentum. The referee's down on his knee looking in there and he says it's held up. That's gonna be a goal line drop. And Old Blue able to withstand the Rocky Gorge pick and go. Now you remember earlier in the match Old Blue at a 22 meter drop and kicked it out of the back of the end zone. He's got a boot on him. They better be back pretty far. And it looks like one man is going out, two are going in. The first yellow card is returning. So it is 14 on 15. Old Blue's gonna boot it far. Rocky Gorge is going to chip it up, try to tap it backwards. And Rocky Gorge knocks it on off the chip kick. Now, if you're old blue, their number nine is missing from the set piece. That is correct, Pat. A big loss for any team. Number nine, he's made a big impact for the old blue side. Who fills in this scrum half position, and from what position is that costing from? You know, I'm curious to see, Pat. Um, it looks like they're pulling their 11. Looks like they're pulling the 11. So, you know, that's going to leave you a bit vulnerable, but at the same time. Yeah, within their own end. They look to exit. Correction, 15, 15, not 11. And a big boot from the number 10. Gorge is there to receive it, but old, old Blue trying to gain some territory as they did successfully. Now Old Blue with a decent counter ruck, Let's go. putting Gorge Let's under go. immense pressure. Gorge seeing some space weak side. Oh, They've man. had success early. Oh man! They're going to cut it in. And they're gonna keep offloading it. And oh, if they get it wide, there's a lot of space out left. There's a lot of space out left. What are they able to do with it? Oh, it looks like they slowed the ball down. Good play from Old Blue. But penalty. That's gonna be a penalty on Old Blue. It's gonna be deep in their end. And that's been a few infractions deep in their end. Do you think? Uh, they look pretty close, Pat. He doesn't look like he's reaching into his pocketbook, but. Nope. Surprising, Old honestly. Blue down. Oh yeah, and then the original yellow is back on. The nine's still off. Okay. Original yellow is back on. We got 15 on 14 now. Yes. Just about eight minutes left in the half. Rocky Gorge is gonna go for points to try to tie up the game at 22. The crowd is silent. You can hear a pin drop. That looks good. Yeah, and you can hear good. the Rocky Gorge sideline go crazy. That is good. Score is tied up 22-22. We have just about eight minutes left in the game. Old Blue is down one man, one important position, their scrum half. Let's see what they can do. Let's go! A 
A booming kick from Old Blue. It appears to go back. Hits the ground but goes backwards. That won't be a knock on. They're gonna try to attack with some space. And they're gonna call a knock on Old Rocky Gorge. Unfortunate mistake, it looked like he had some space, but not the place where you wanna knock the ball on inside your own 50. Old Glory with a serious attacking position. They're down a man. Their 10's demonstrated, he has the foot. If they get a penalty around this area, they're gonna be able to convert. They have an opportunity to convert, should I say. Old Blue taking their weak side wing to the strong side. They want every man in attack. And the eight man's gonna take it off the scrum. They're gonna spin it wide. A riveting tackle. What a tackle from 17 on. Oh, and they find Rocky some. Gorge. They thought they found some space. Oh. And a turnover. There's no men back. If they find the foot, they have a big opportunity. High tackle on Old Blue. I guess. Let's go, Gord! Rocky Gorge is pumped up. They know they have the man advantage. Old Blue. In attack for some phases, but the, mis the handling error causes the turnover, and Gorge is now on the attack with a man advantage. And they go to the first receiver, but they call a knock on on Rocky Gorge. That's gonna be a scrum down to Old Blue. There is just under five minutes to play in the D1 Men's Championship for the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional here in Richmond, Virginia. Indeed. Score is 22 to 22. And the old blue scrum just able to dominate and retain that possession. Oh, and the old blue winger able to make people miss and gain some ground. What are we doing? Rocky Gorge able to stop him 10 meters behind the. And was that pass forward? And a forward pass off the nine. You wish they hoped they had their nine back in the game. Unfortunate Blake break for old, old Blue. You gotta wonder, it's only gotta be a few more minutes before the nine comes back from Old Blue. Rocky Gorge. Inside the 40 meter line, what can they do here? Scrum center. They're showing their backs to the left side, wide side of the field. Let's go! Stable scrum from Gorge. And 
stolen ball from Old Blue. But the offload, they send it out of bounds. It'll be a Gorge line out. Come on, Gorge, win it! Just about two minutes left. We are still tied 22 to 22. And the subs are coming in from both sides. Hoping to make an impact. That's a big boy. And the scrum is awarded to Old Blue. Looks like they called the first knock. And the number nine is subbed back on from the yellow card. Old Blue is at full strength. Just about a few minutes left in the match. Old Blue's attacking just outside their own 40. The Old Blue scrum, the stable push. Old Blue looks to found some space. They put a kick through, and it's gonna dribble out of bounds. There looks to be a man downfield, and it looks like the, the referee is gonna call a penalty. I think they hit the kicker, Pat. Blue's gonna find touch. Marching within their 10 meter line of Rocky Gorge. They have an opportunity to put some points on the board here. Oh. Hard run from the sub prop. Old Blue gonna look weak side. Can they slip out of the tackle? Old Blue on the one meter line, attacking. This could be the last play of the match. Can Rocky Gorge force a penalty or can Old Blue put it in? And they're gonna go to the backs here. It's gonna dummy. It's gonna come weak side. They're gonna play strong defense. Old Blue, gonna look to get it wide. And they knocked the ball forward. Impressive defense from Rocky Gorge, you gotta say. Indeed. Very impressive defense. And the referee's gonna take a look at the clock. Old Blue has had the advantage in the scrums from the last few. If you're Rocky Gorge, you wanna make a safe exit here. Points are not in mind. 
It is getting to that last whistle. And it looks like an old blue player is down on all fours. I think that's the big eight. The big eight, yep. And the time is back on. Old Blue with a strong push. Rocky Gorge is able to take it out. And they're able to get it to the wing. And they're gonna call an obstruction penalty. Old Blue is graced. And they're gonna go for points. This could be the last play of the match. Score is tied 22-22. Their kicker has been able to demonstrate his strength. Can he close the match out off this kick? The sideline is completely silent. And he strikes it. And it looks like it appeared to go right. Right we in the are post. Still tied up. And that is the end of regulation. We're going to go into overtime. It is 22 oh, to 22. Oh, yeah, Pat. Rocky Gorge versus Old Blue, Division I men's Mid Atlantic Conference Super Regional. The winner advances to St. Louis, Missouri in June. We're going into extra innings.
And welcome back. We are returning to overtime as Old Blue and Rocky Gorge compete in the Division I Men's National Championship. There is five minutes on the scoreboard for magnitude of this match. Good afternoon. We're getting a little bit of intelligence from the sideline. So what is happening? We will have two five minute periods in overtime. After the first five minutes, they will flip fields, have another five minutes. If the score is still tied until then, we will move to a sudden death period where the first scorer will win. So as I said, two five minute periods to start. If the score is tied, past those 10 minutes, we'll go to sudden death. And the whole crowd's on their feet here in Richmond, Virginia. Big kick from Old Blue. And Rocky Gorge with a nice take. Are you serious? And they're gonna call a penalty on Rocky Gorge. And the strategy in the match has to be different here. You only have two five minute periods. It looks like Old Blue's gonna go for points. Looks like their fly half is still in the game, but it looks like the winger's gonna take the penalty kick. They're not too far off from center. About 35 meters from the goal post. Absolute silence from the crowd. And it was well struck, but it looks like it's far right. And the ball's gonna go out far right. Rocky Gorge kicks off, ball finds ground. Old Blue making an offload, taking it past the 50 meter line. Ball looks to have been out of bounds. That'll be a Rocky Gorge line out, just in their own 50. Rocky Gorge has had a little bit of trouble in the line out. Let's see if they'll make adjustments in this extra time period. Remember, this is only the first of two five minute periods. There's only about two and a half minutes left. Each team needs to be quick to score. And the fly half puts the chip through. Ball's gonna find ground. It's gonna bounce. Full back evades the fly half. And their tackle just inside the 40. 
And looks like Rocky Gorge makes an effort to steal the ball. And it looks like there's some chippiness after the play. A lot of aggression going on out there, Pat. Yeah, man, this is a total dog fight. There's only about a minute left in this first half of the extra time. And it's been a fun four minutes. Feels like it's lasted 10. I mean, the whole crowd is up out of their seats right now. That ball doesn't look to go straight. And the ref's going to stop time. And he's going to bring some of the Gorge players aside to have a word with them. And it looks like the line out wasn't set. They're going to they're re-throw the line out. Old Blue gets a second opportunity. This is going to be one of the last plays of the half, Pat. Oh, Big and possession. they call the knock on. The blitz defense works. Wow. Just as you mentioned, is there any time left remaining? Not that I can see. However, I'm just looking at the scoreboard. Referee has a different watch. Yeah, he stopped time a few moments ago. This could be the last play. As we saw in regulation, Rocky Gorge tried to make it out of their own end. They ended up committing a penalty. Do you think they'll do the same thing, or do you think they'll try to exit? Your guess is as good as mine, Pat. They're inside their 22. And it looks like that old blue scrum is powerful. Are they able to get the ball out? And that's a penalty to old blue at the center. A player is down on Rocky Gorge. A powerful scrum from Old Blue, and they're going to elect to go for points to end that half of overtime. Old Blue has missed their last two penalty kicks. This one has much less difficulty. Ball is struck, and it is good. Old Blue goes up 3-0 at the end of the first half of overtime. We have five minutes remaining. They're going to swap sides. Old Blue leads 25 to 22. They're going to take a brief intermission for a minute. And we'll resume shortly.
heading into the 85th minute of rugby during this Division I men's final for the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional. It looks like Rocky Gorge is set to kick off. Old Blue leads 25 to 22. If the score is tied at the end of this five minute period, we go into a sudden death. So as Old Blue leads by three, Rocky Gorge is looking to tie it up for the score while Old Blue is trying to maintain their lead. Go get it! Right here! Oh, what a kick! What a kick! Obstruction! Obstruction! Are you joking? Old Blue retains possession. And... And Rocky Gorge contesting. And Old Blue playing smart, taking time off the clock. And they're gonna put the ball in the air. And it's gonna be tipped back to Old Blue. And they're gonna put a chip up in the air for the winger who's able to catch it. And what a catch it was. Oh, and a knock on by Old Blue. But they're gonna kick the ball to the... Appears to be two balls onto the field. Rocky Gorge with the scrum just outside of their 22. It's only about three minutes left in the match. And Old Blue with a powerful scrum. Looks like they're able to win it. Nope. Old Blue penalty. Another penalty, they weren't back 10. Rocky Gorge with a little bit of momentum. And they're gonna quick tap. Go up the middle, will the support be there? Old Blue has been contesting these rucks. And the interception! Yeah, Rocky Gorge throws an interception. What a phenomenal play from 21. And they're gonna pause to the TMO. You see we have we want a multi-purpose field with white lines, orange lines, yellow lines, and blue lines. And it appears the old blue player that had intercepted the ball might have hit the out of bounds before he touched the ball down. So what would have been, 
what would have been the de facto lead up by two possessions. Now turns into a 22 meter drop, about a minute left for Rocky Gorge. Still a tough task from Rocky Gorge, but they have just a little bit of breathing room. And the prop's gonna take it. Oh, they're gonna give him the advantage for the high tackle. And number one is struggling. Oh my. This is a scary sight. Old Blue leading with nothing more than a minute left in the half. They're up by three points with the ball and a penalty. One of Rocky Gorge's main stay players is down. That's a front row that's been playing all 89 of these last 89 minutes. Better man than me, Pat. Not saying much, Joe. <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. I'm just messing, Joe. Yeah, you gotta hope it's just a cramp. On, Saw the leg convulsing a little bit. Yeah. But. Gets up under his own power. Oh, uh, for a second. I get, think a, get a little help. And an applause. Classy from the old blue team clapping off the injured player from the Rocky Gorge side. The front row sub will come in. And it'll be a old blue penalty with limited time remaining in the second period of overtime. They're gonna quick tap and go to touch. That appears to be the end of the match. And that's gonna be the end of the match. Old Blue, your Mid-Atlantic Super Regional champions. They're gonna advance to St. Louis in June for the USA Rugby National Championship. It's been what, a pleasure, Pat. What a tough fought match, you know. back and forth. Old Blue was able to take the lead in the first half. Rocky Gorge put it within closing distance, but Old Blue remaining victorious in the overtime period. What are your thoughts on the game, Joe? You know, uh, they both gave it their all, and um, one team came out on top, and that's all I have to say. It's been a pleasure. Beautiful day in Richmond. Thank you for watching.